I'm a big believer in odd characters. I think it's something that was truly inspiring and like important to see as a kid. Maybe it's just because I'm not young anymore, but when I watch music videos or when I see actors, I feel like everyone's so beautiful. I need these like genuine weirdos in my life again. Whitney Houston is definitely hugely important to me. Freddy Krueger is one of those characters too. I feel like it's my ideal world that I'm creating. This is the inside of what my brain looks like or something. So much more. I'm from Wisconsin, and I've got a pretty Wisconsin family. Packers and beer and motorcycles. I would always organize, try and capture the flag games in the forest or like make haunted houses and stuff like that. In college, I was constantly taking pictures. I was one of the people who was taking photos like nonstop and doing weird DIY costuming and inserting myself into different scenarios. I realized I had hundreds of these self-portraits. It was just me entertaining myself, but that's what people really were excited about. Seeing what I'm capable of with the resources that I have, it's just fun for me. I'm like 50 characters and they're all pretty bizarre. Most of them are pretty far from how I actually look. You can see that I'm Boy George, and I'm Phil Spector, and I'm an ice cream cone, and I'm Yoda. It's more about showing this really crazy array of characters that I can be. Especially like the grosser or weirder the character is or the further it can be from me. But using my own characteristics and changing them, not just like covering myself up with a costume. Being able to see that it's me but that it looked completely different. I think that's a really fun challenge. I wink. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh my God. We'll do one more. Just try and look really scared if you can. Just be like, just like, yeah. I was asked by a gallery space in bed -Stuy called American Medium to take over their office space as a studio space for the summer. I knew that I wanted it to be a music video, and I knew that I really wanted to do Freddie Mercury. We gotta have, make it happen quicker. Okay, one more, one more, we can do this. I don't think there's really any work that I've done by myself ever. I've always had help, and it's always been people from my community where that I've already been collaborating with in some way. I'm like asking them to be a part of this. That's also what makes it fun for me too. This is a recreation of a painting from about 1370 called Saint Cosmos and Saint Damien by Matteo de Piccino. There's an ill man in a bed who has a leg that has the plague, a plague leg. And there are two saints who are trying to heal him. Remaking something that is pre-existing like you already have so much to work with, and then it's all about every little decision making from that. Each morning I get up, I dive. Can't bear
all these newer large scale pieces are kind of my own weird versions of the We Are the Worlds music video. Uh, you know that one, right? By my name. That crazy mashup of all these different people, like you have Kenny Rogers singing next to Cyndi Lauper and Ray Charles with the singer from Journey. Not only because so many of those artists have these incredible epic ballads that just stick with you for the rest of your life, but they've all helped along my artistic spirit. And I feel like with almost all the images, I want them to be like an homage to these characters. I do want these characters to be best friends or to create something wonderful together. I really like artwork that makes you laugh. And then if the audience can recognize the characters or also kind of understand me as an artist, why I made the decisions to be Miss Piggy or Miss Elliot. So why should they not be totally connected in this weird alternate universe that I'm creating here? And why should they not be friends? And why should I not thank them for that? So I am. Thank you. That's what friends are for. <laughs> Wishing you come back to me. I'm sorry, I got to right, right. I thought you look a moment. Shit. And all my dreams were shattered all at once. Oh, okay. That was great. That was great. <laughs>